Happy Father's Day. Uh, this video is dedicated to my dad, and on the occasion of Father's Day, I chose to visit a junkyard. It's called You Pull, I Pull, or I Pull, You Pull. You have to look at the sign. And one thing I did growing up with my dad, because he liked to work on cars and restore old cars, is occasionally we would go to the junkyard. He would pull a part that would be cheaper than ordering a new part or a part that was hard to find at an auto parts store. He would go in with his tools and we would explore these junkyards together like on a Saturday. And I just have these memories of finding treasure where there was look like junk to one person was treasure to my dad because he could restore these cars and make them whole. This car was actually an MG. I think we had an MG, not a midget, but we had an MG just like that. And I even saw the little tag here on the fender and I was like, no way. Yep, MG midget. So it's interesting exploring where no one else really likes to explore for photography. I saw a lot of people working, pulling uh, cars, parts, but uh, parts out of cars to make some repairs, but I didn't see any other photographers out there. So I thought uh, this is one thing that I could embrace that I uh, maybe have as a unique characteristic is this is interesting to me. I like to look at the geometry of the cars and especially with these hoods popped up, like craning towards the sky is always kind of interesting, like a car graveyard. Of course, there's cars that have looked like they're in accidents and they've really suffered and they have a smashed windshields and they've just been gutted. And so it reminds me of just the trauma that, that not only cars go through, of course, but in our own lives. And how do we deal with that tr trauma and what things do we carry around in us and with us that um, might uh, be holding us back? And so uh, I really dug these, uh, these cars as symbols of the way we make our way through lives. Uh, and it was, it was a great afternoon. I got there about 30 minutes before closing. Um, and I took about 100 photos. And I think I have about um, 23 or 24, almost uh, a roll of film, if you will. Uh, this was actually a wood dash uh, on this car. as pretty interesting. You don't see that. Uh, remind me of some of the cars that my dad restored uh, from back in the 70s, the 60s, these classic cars from the 50s, way before prices got out of hand for these vintage cars. And so I really wanted to spend uh, an afternoon before Father's Day just sort of contemplating the meaning of uh, relationships like that, but also spending uh, time on a little photo challenge. And so what I did here is I brought these home, I shot in raw, and I developed four film recipes uh, that I thought served these compositions. Um, here I really like the, the line of the warehouse or the building behind the car and the angles of the hoods. Um, and again, these stacks of stacks and stacks of rims. Uh, these wheels just almost looking identical. Like, did all this car, all these cars have the exact same rim? Um, so I got one good composition out of here I thought was pretty interesting. And then I saw the car behind it. Uh, they have these numbers on the roof, and the, of course the hood popped open. There seems to be a protocol when you got your car into the junkyard. You pop the hood, you take off the wheels, you jack up the car and leave it sitting on the rims. You'll see that throughout the shots here and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let the video play and I'm going to show you the film recipes that I developed uh, as they come up and I apply them to certain images so sit back relax and enjoy this uh, junkyard photo shoot one man's junk another man's treasure